Hi guys, Raftera here. I hope that you are having an awesome 2021 and I hope that you are having an awesome time with the new patch 2.5 in Legends of Runeterra. I apologize for the lack of videos in the past days. I was too busy enjoying the game. I was too busy trying out decks that were not viable um, when TF Fizz was still super dominant and when TF Aphelios was still super dominant. But no worries, starting from this upload, I will be back to my regular schedule. And I also have a climbing guide coming to you in the next few days, so stay tuned for that. The first deck that I will be showcasing in my first video for the new expansion is the deck that I think would be the strongest deck in this patch. Um, I think that this deck will be the one that shapes the meta. Um, the decks that counter this deck will be seen a lot on ladder. Um, and this deck is Lee Zoe. This will be the boss deck of the expansion, I think, um, alongside Trundle Lissandra. Lizoe has actually been already a staple deck for the past few metas. Um, it just faded away last patch because TF Fizz was so dominant. For this video in particular, I only showcased three games compared to my usual guides because uh, I already created a climbing guide before with Lee and Zoe and I already played it in several videos. So I didn't feel the need and I'm not really that committed to making a long video for Lee and Zoe. Um, I think the three games that I have for you today will cover some very common matchups that you will face uh, in ladder. You will learn how to play against one control deck, uh, one mid-range deck, and one aggro deck with the games that I will be showcasing today. If you want to see more games, as I mentioned earlier, I already had a climbing guide and some videos on this. I will be linking them in the description below. This is a very rewarding deck to master, similar to TF's last patch. If you really just want to rank up, Lee Sin Zoe is the deck for you. That's it for the deck. Um, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I hope that you're looking forward to the first climbing guide of the season. I already actually have a video prepared and I have uh, quite of a tiny surprise and announcement during the, the introduction of my climbing guide. So I hope that you're looking forward to that. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. If you have anything to say to me, leave it in the comment section below. It really helps for the YouTube algorithm. Leaving comments, any random comment will help me grow as a channel. Make sure that you're subscribed and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye. At least I think Deep is a better matchup because they don't exert any pressure early game. Hope if I doesn't do anything, I probably want my champs. Spark Hellfly is also not too needed here because we're not up against aggro. Okay. The only thing that could kill Zoe early is a Vile Feast, which hopefully he doesn't have. Hopefully he doesn't have. Oh nice, we have the counter to Vile Feast actually. Zoe has the chance to go out of control. I'm gonna buff up the Zoe first. If he responds with the Vile Feast, we will use Snopify. It's a very non-committal play. Uh, is there any way he can kill my Zoe here? I can't think of any way he can kill Zoe. I think I'm safe to use the super cool star chart so that we get the most value. If he's running Joel Hunters, Crescent Strike might be useful. If he summons Joel Hunters next turn. It's fine. No need to force anything here. Can't just simply I have the dragon, summon Lee Sin next turn. I'm pretty sure he's not running Vengeance. I don't think the new deep versions are running Vengeance. Uh, I hope I'm not wrong. Yep, no Vengeance. Good. Good F. So I have Deny, I have Nopify, I have Deep Meditation. I will use Zenith Blade first as the first step here. If he uses Vengeance, I have Deny. Yes, nothing? Am I getting baited here? Am I getting baited? What could he have? What could he have for 9 mana? can't imagine him killing my Lee, Lee Sin here. This is so weird. Breathe in, breathe out. 
everything is so weird guys I guess there's no harm in attacking first we're, we're not going to be able to kill him this turn anyway just need to protect the Lee Sin at all costs He's saving up mana for vengeance I just want to use deep meditation probably if I use deep meditation I, I will overdraw yeah I can't I can't use deep meditation I just chill if he's not going to do anything we're in a good spot I can chill out here I literally don't need to do anything oh fuck I didn't get oh fuck I didn't get the ah uh, I didn't get the gem I needed the gem I think his plan is to not summon anything so that I can't ki ki kick anything with Lee Sin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna threaten him with units instead. Where if he doesn't summon anything, he will die. So I need to save up mana for the Nai. I, ha I can play up to 6 mana here. I mean, if he's not going to summon anything, I'm just gonna keep attacking him. It's the only way to kill the Lee Sin. So as long as I save up mana for the Nai... Four mana. Could use Glimpse Beyond here to save his life. Could use Glimpse Beyond. But I think Glimpse Beyond is not enough. He needs to kill the Leeson. I'm saving up the Nai always. He's use Vengeance and then I will use Deny. Cool. Methodical. Methodical! I thank you, surgical, guys. Surgical game. We have a surgical game there. Lulu Shen. I wonder how scary the Lulu Shen deck is. I'm planning to make a Lulu Shen maybe in my NA account. Is this a matchup where I keep the Lee Sin? Not a good hand guys, not a good hand. Not the best hand. I think I'm only going to run one deep meditation. So we get the Zoe, which doesn't do much in this matchup because he does have a uh, he does have Young Witch. I think I just chill out here. I just try to survive. Should be hard for him to remove my Leeson. So our scare cards should be single combat. Are we fine going down to 8 HP? I think this might still be okay. Might still be okay. I don't want to risk it with my Leeson. I don't want to risk my Leeson dying. I think I'm content to just chill out here. I don't know what cards he's running. I need to save 4 mana always when I summon my Lee Sin. We can summon Lee Sin safely here. This is the crucial part. We need to be able to protect the Lee Sin. Um, Lulu will level up. He uses deny. I can use my deny. I think this Zoe is defending. I don't want to die stupidly. 
Yeah, I don't wanna die stupidly. If he uses the Nai, I will be able to barrier up my Lee Sin with Pale Cascade. To deny that one. Probably has his own deny. Bastion might be better. Bastion might be better than deny. Bastion can be countered by single combat. Yeah, Bastion is better because he could counter with his own deny if I use deny here. It's the only way to kill me here is through. Yeah, he can't kill my Lee here. I think he missed his timing. He attacks with another elusive, but I can defend with my own elusive. So it's a good thing I defended earlier with my Zoe. Cool. He will grant barrier to one of his units. I will try, I will attempt to kill the Lulu. If I use my own deny, he will use his own deny, he will use his deny. So he does have another concerted strike. If I use deny, he will use his own deny, he'll be successful in killing my Lee Sin. I need to be able to activate the barrier here. Let's see what I draw first. If I use deep meditation, I can't really get any two mana draws that will be useful. I just want to up the stats of the Lee Sin so that in order to get through the barrier, he will have to do some amazing stuff. Don't tell me you have another concerted strike. If he has another one, I just don't know what to do. I just need to be able to get rid of the... I need to be able to get rid of the elusive. What could counter this one? He was casting a spell earlier. He was casting a spell earlier. If he has single combat, it's not going to help him. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. As long as I'm not dying, I'm fine. I probably will use Guiding Touch first in order to bait him to use other buffs on the Valor. Then use Hush last. I have double Hush if needed. I don't think he will be able to threaten my Lee Sin here. I'm just gonna use Guiding Touch, a very non-committal play. He uses room for more reaction. I think he will try to finish this game now. Yep. Hush. I'm sure he has deny. I'm sure he has deny. He's been representing deny since earlier. I can just chill here. Save up mana for deny always. He might have relentless pursuit. Try to heal up as much as we can. He uses his own deny. Got him! Intense game guys. I really think Lulu Lulu is a legit champion guys. I really think Lulu Shen is legit now guys People are underestimating the buff to Lulu, but I think it could be a good thing Oh Jarvan Shivana Jarvan Shivana has a chance to get spooky, right? If he's able to overwhelm us with aggression in the early game um, is there any advantage to summoning the messenger now or the messenger next turn? So now I do have Bastion. Oh, holy fuck. He got me locked down, guys. How do I... 
Oh my god, Infinite Mind Splitter, he got it from Egghead Researcher? I'm toast! Uh, I'm a bit salty about that man, Infinite Mind Splitter. Azir Hecarim. I keep Mountain Goat because it's aggro, right? I, at I need at least one unit early. So we get the Mountain Goat and we can throw away the gem from the Mountain Goat with Space Sketcher. Although taking 4 damage might be too much. I might need to do this card now, just so that we have a defender. Um, I like the messenger. Well, I think we can do here, just trade up. Nothing much we can do. I'm fine to just use the messenger. Um, Sparkle Fly will be a big deal to regain some HP. Bad attack for him. Actually, no. Good attack for him. Have to tank some damage. I believe I will be able to heal up a bit with Sparkle Fly. This Soul Shepherd will be a problem. I need to exert some pressure. I can't just let the let the mountain goat sit behind. I need to summon something in order to threaten my mountain goat. We're gonna heal up a bit with this. Will he just tank the damage? So I need to save Nopify just in case he uses some shit here like the spells that summon ephemerals. Okay. That's scary. Not gonna fucking lie, that's scary. So, he has a useless card in... Mm -hmm. I need to kill these or the Azir. Probably the Azir. So I will put this on the Lee Sin. I will use the gems on the Sparkle Fly so that we heal up. And I will threaten the Azir. I mean, I will threaten the Soul Shepherds. Azir is not too much of a problem. The problem are these Soul Shepherds. I don't know if I still want to save mana for Nobify. Probably not. These are the engines that will make Azir irritating. If we get rid of them, we will get a lot of lifesteal from Sparklefly. We can hush the Hecarim. Hopefully he doesn't open attack. He gets greedy. We can do this. This should be fine, right? We have Hush and Opify as backup. Might be able to one-shot him next turn. Is there any chance he's running Atrocity? I hope you're not running Atrocity. I'm gonna be super sad if you are. So no Atrocity. That's good. I need to lifesteal this turn. Next turn, I mean. I think I'll be able to one-shot him next turn. I need to level up the Lee Sin for sure. We will be able to get the one-shot. Shit, do I need to go for it immediately? Because if he Doom Beasts, I'm dead. And there's a high chance he has Doom Beast. I think I need to go now. No kidding, I have to go now. Yeah, I have to go now. Now or never. I don't want to die to a Doom Beast. 
he uses glimpse beyond to kill the Hecarim. I I have no Pify. I'm gonna lifesteal a bit here. Yeah, if he got Doombeast there, I'm dead. Oh shit! I almost got baited into using the slow spell there. If he used Doombeast, I'm toast. Toast!